Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Basically, I just wanted to film this video to help you get to know me a little bit better and answer some of your burning questions. So, I headed over to my Instagram, which I will pop here. You can follow me if you want. I don't care if you don't. Reverse psychology. I do. And I asked you guys for some questions, which are on my phone. So, you know how this works. I'm gonna answer them. First question is, if you could only listen to one album for the rest of your life, which would you pick? Um, the Shrek soundtrack. What are your plans for after uni? Oh, triggered. Um, like most students, I have absolutely no f***ing idea. Recently, I've kind of realised that I'm not actually ready to grow up yet, and I don't really want to leave university just yet, so I think I'll probably apply to do a master's. There are certain universities that I would like to apply to. I'm not going to talk about them on this channel because I have made that mistake before and been rejected. <coughs> Oxford. <clears throat> Sorry, got a bit of a tickle. But when the time is right, I will let you know. Um, if I don't get into a grad scheme or anything like that, then I think I would love to go into kind of broadcast journalism. I'm loving doing presenting work at the moment. Um, anything like that would be really, really cool. If you weren't doing an English literature degree, what other degree would you do? Have I mentioned that I do an English lit degree? I kind of flirted a little bit with politics for a while, but the only other degree that I kind of considered was history. However, in retrospect, I've definitely realised that English was the right degree for me. I don't think that I would have got along with history. Um, I think the only other thing I would potentially consider now is classics, because I love classics. Status of your love life. Hmm. So, quite a few of you wanted to know the answer to this question. Yeah. So, I am in a relationship. I do have a girlfriend who I absolutely adore. Aww and we've been together for about six months, I think. I suppose I kind of have kept it a little bit of a secret on this channel. I don't really know why, I just think that obviously the whole online thing adds an additional element to a relationship, which is just a, a weird one. But yeah, I guess all you need to know is that she makes me very, very happy. I'm very much in love. And um, moving on, moving on. What is the worst and best thing about your degree? The best thing is getting to study just like a range of books and opening my brain to new ideas I would never have come across otherwise. The worst thing is um, having to do a degree in it. Who is your favourite artist at the moment? Um, I'd probably say like Picasso, I just think that his art is really kind of up and coming and interesting and you know kind of underrated. In terms of music, I would say Summer Walker I love at the moment, Dermot Kennedy, um, Loyal Kana and Billie Eilish. What are your summer plans for 2019? I am going to Australia! And I am so freaking excited. We're going to Sydney, Melbourne, and Adelaide, going all through the wine regions. It's going to be so much fun. Um, it's going to be koality. How do you feel about being recognized on nights out in Durham? I'm not gonna lie to you, I love it. I love meeting new people, I love going clubbing, I love just having a boogie, and so, you know, it's all just good fun. Most people are really, really kind, um, and I just end up buying random people Jaeger bombs all the time, so sorry if I've ever done that to you. But also, you're welcome. What is your favourite type of pizza? Um, the closest. For real though, I am that freak who gets the meat delicious from Domino's. Or if it was in like a sit-down restaurant, then probably like mozzarella and prosciutto. Mm -mm -mm. How much sleep do you get? Uh, not enough. How do you balance university, your social life, and extracurricular activities? Um, with great difficulty. At university, I've tried to just throw myself into everything that I do and love it as much as I can. I love being busy, and that can sometimes be detrimental. It does sometimes lead to burnout, but I just think, it's gonna sound so cliche and so generic, but love what you do and do what you love and it will never ever seem like a chore. And yeah, that's it really. What is your secret talent? Um, I think all of my talents are so secret that I just haven't found any of them yet. Then someone sent me the question, HAVE YOU BEEN TO GREGS? In all capitals about 10 times. Um, the answer is yes. Um, I love Greg's. Which other universities did you apply to? So I applied to Durham, obviously, Oxford, Exeter, Bristol, and York. I would honestly say that I regret applying to York and Bristol, and I wish I'd applied to Edinburgh and St Andrews instead. At the time, I felt like they were just so far away, but now that I go to Durham, I'm kind of like, eh. So yeah, if I could go back in time, I probably would apply to those two, but I think I'd still go to Durham, so kind of pointless. How did you get started into blogging and vlogging? Well, I don't know if I've ever told this story on my channel before, but basically I was quite like precocious when I was a kid and I was probably about 14 and I went to all my local newspapers and I was like, Hi, can I have a column? And they were like, no. And so I decided basically to make my own platform. So I created a website, um, I literally designed the whole thing from scratch, um, made a blog and just like wrote a little blog posts every now and then. The YouTube videos initially were kind of to assist the blog posts and to help me reach a wider audience, but over time I kind of realised that actually I much preferred making videos. So it was probably about a year ago that I kind of stopped making blog posts and just put all of my energy into YouTube and 
here we are, I guess. Would you ever go on a blind date? Um, to be fair, I am so blind anyway, like my prescription is like plus 8.75 and plus 8.5, so if I took my glasses off or took my contact lenses out, any date for me would be blind. What is the best book you've read in 2019 so far? Um, this is going to hurt by Adam Kay. I'll leave my Goodreads account down below, just scroll down to um, my crotch and you can find the link to that, where I'm doing a 2019 reading challenge because you choose looks, I choose books. And I'm trying to read 100 books this year and I'm leaving like little reviews every time I read one, so go check that out if you want to know more. More plugs than an extension lead in this video. What is your funniest slash most embarrassing story from a night out? Um, it's hard to pick just one. I remember one night where I just got absolutely shit-faced and some- so in first year of university I lived above a bar and on our way home from this night out I realised that the back door to the bar was kind of like slightly not shut properly and I managed to barge it open and break into the bar and so I kind of pushed through the doors and then the alarm started going off and I was like I didn't actually plan this far ahead like I didn't really expect to actually get in so I don't really have a plan for what to do now so then as any good criminal would I just shut the doors again and went to bed however my keys were in my jacket pocket and I thought that I'd lost them and that I'd left them in the club. My housemates had gone away for the week and so I realised that I couldn't get into my room but I could get into his room but I kind of thought it would be weird to sleep in his room when he wasn't there so I just took his mattress out of his room and put it in the corridor. I then kind of went to sleep and one of my housemates walked into the corridor and was like what? are you doing? And basically I hadn't actually checked whether my door was unlocked, I just assumed that it wasn't. Uh, it turned out it actually was unlocked. So then my housemate went and got my duvet from my bed because I was sleeping without a duvet and was cold and then put it around me and then I slept in the corridor even though my room was unlocked the whole time. And so there was absolutely no need to do that. I literally have two brain cells, I don't know what I was doing. Who's your favourite style inspiration? Um, I genuinely think I get most inspiration just from like people on the street, like in London or something, like people are so cool and I think they're the best people you can kind of learn from. What is your opinion on societies at university? Join as many as you can. This year I tried to just get involved with as many things as I could. Um, I've done like charity fashion shows, joined the climbing club. I'm actually social sec of the Hummus Society. So if any of you are Durham students, Hummus Society is where it's at. Come along. What's your favourite vine? Um, Wisteria. Haha, <laughs> banter. Just kidding, it's definitely the one that's like, Free Shavakadu! I love that shit. Favourite cheese? Uh, brie. If I have that cheese, I know it's gonna brie a good day. Favourite YouTubers besides study tubers? Right now, the videos that I'm binge watching are from Kate Elizabeth, Ben Morris, Byron, Haz, uh, Bambino Becky and Sam Carr. Thoughts on one night stands? Um, I mean I have one and it's super functional. Like I put my glasses on there when I sleep, uh, it holds my book, super helpful. Like if you had a double bed I can see why you'd have two night stands, but for me one is plenty. Have you ever considered dropping out of uni? Uh, yes, every time I get set an essay. What are your top three goals in life? I would say Probably my biggest ever goal has been to walk into my local bookshop and see a book that I've written on the shelf. Number two for me is to be on live television. And number three is just to be happy. <laughs> Jokes, I just want to be a millionaire. And finally, we'll end on, are you glad that Oxford rejected you? Um, I mean, glad is a strong term. I mean, the beauty of it is that I'll never know if it was the right thing for me and for my life. But personally, I definitely think Durham was the place I was meant to go. I'd say everything happens for a reason. I wouldn't be where I am right now, and I'm very, very happy right now, if things like that um, hadn't happened. So for me, rejection from Oxford was just redirection onto a different path, and it worked out well anyway. So I'm a happy chappy. That's all you can ask for. And with that, I will end this Q&A. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Since there are a few more of you on this channel now, um, I would absolutely love it if you could comment down below your name and where you're from, uh, where you're watching this video from, because, um, you know, even if you're like a viewer who's never commented before, I would absolutely love to be able to say hello. So let's have a chat down below down there somewhere. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my social media and all of my links down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.